It is the end of 2023. We've had an interesting year. There's been a lot of good things happen, a whole lot of bad things happen in the world. And all at the same time, real estate has been trucking along. But this year was a different kind of year compared to what we've experienced the past two years. We're going to, in this video, provide the predictions for what we can expect in 2024. Really, the chief economist from the National Association of Realtors he does a pretty good job every year of analyzing all of the economic factors that go into play with the housing market. Now, what is he predicting? Well, let's call it like it is. He's calling for an increase of 13.5% in the number of homes sold. So in 2023, we're only gonna sell about 4.1 million homes across the United States. And next year, he's predicting that we're going to sell 4.71 million homes which is, you know, obviously getting closer to that 5 million point, which is what typically should be happening as far as transactions are concerned. So that's a good sign. We're going to have 13.5% more home sales next year. Now, a large contributing factor to that is interest rates. We know that interest rates have gone up. They went up significantly in 2022. They've continued to go up in 2023, but now we're starting to see a change. The Fed has come out, said that they weren't going to be increasing rates any further, calling for three reductions in interest rates next year. And so a lot of the you know consensus here is that now we've creeped into the six per high 6% interest rates. And the consensus is that we're going to be in the sixes next year. So compared to the eights where we were a little earlier this year, not even that long ago, people are now suddenly a bit relieved mm. that we have 6% interest rates. And so, you know, mindset shift, they had to push it a little high, so then they can draw it back and people feel good about their lives all over again. Will we get to the 3% interest rates, I eh, just don't think that's going to happen. That's not going to be part of it. Now, what about pricing? How are we going to deal with pricing? Well, what they're predicting is that we're going to have a 0.9% increase in prices in 2024. That's not much. You know, quite frankly, when you factor in real estate taxes and insurance, etc., they're not expecting a lot of appreciation in the real estate market, but they are expecting more transactions. In terms of Florida, what we're looking at is we've increased our inventory quite significantly. So in other parts of the United States, they still, you know, some areas have an inventory shortage and we really don't have that here in Southwest Florida. It's actually, we're about five or six months worth of inventory and we've shifted pretty much in buyer's market category. So I would expect that over next year, prices do stay relatively flat based on the inventory that has increased and based on interest rates not falling through the floor, but coming down a little bit, we'll see, you know, transactions certainly happening and taking place. Now, the other elephant in the room is that 2024 brings upon us something that happens once every four years, and that is a presidential election here in the U.S. And, you know, I, I have some certain thoughts. I've been through a lot of different presidential cycles. Uh, this next year will be 18 years licensed here. So I've seen a lot of different things. I have some very strong thoughts on this. If, if we think logically about what happens before a presidential election, generally speaking, the news and the media, like things go a little bit nutty and people feel a bit uneasy. And why is that? Both sides of the coin, what they're trying to do is they're trying to say, hey, if this person gets elected over there, that means that it's going to be really bad. And this side over here is like, if that person over there gets elected, that it's going to be really bad. And so people just inevitably think that bad things are going to happen with the results of an election cycle. Now, I have some thoughts on that because generally speaking in real estate conversations, some people will use that as a reason to not do something, whether it's to not buy or to not sell. People utilize a presidential election as a, well, call it an objection to not do something. But if we look at this logically and we say, okay, chances are that you probably were in favor of one of the last two presidents that we've had. So whether that was Trump in 2016 or Biden 2020, there's not a lot of people who loved both of them or hated both of them. It's like you probably liked one or the other. All right. And so what happened in both of those real estate markets with the presidency? Well, they actually prices went up. <laughs> that's, that's what happened for both. So that one person isn't going to directly impact everything with real estate. Certainly there are, uh, you know, policies and things that affect it, but we can't look at that one event as the thing that's going to change it. But I do believe that they're going to do everything in their
their power to make us as people, as humans, as citizens of the United States, feel a little bit nutty next year. Like I just think it's going to be a very interesting year from that perspective. And it'll be interesting to see how that plays out on the real estate side of things. But I agree with the consensus from Lawrence Yoon that we are going to see an increase in the number of transactions. And I just think that that is good for everybody. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think is going to happen in real estate in 2024? Please comment below. Make sure you like the video and please subscribe to the channel. Talk soon.